I've gotten a lot of requests to check out J. Jill. I've always thought maybe it wasn't quite my style. Let's go see if I can find anything that works. Oh, that's Before we get too far into the video, I just want to remind you that sound may be a little weird because I'm in a public store during shopping hours, so I have to mute the overhead music for copyright reasons. Just want to explain that. And then before we get into the clothes, let me share with you what I'm wearing today. So I always think about taking things on and off and trying on shirts with their pants or trying on their pants with my shirt. So I try to like layer and find things that'll work with a lot of things. It's still chilly here in San Antonio, so wearing this plaid jacket and then this is brand new you'll see more of it when I'm trying on the pants just got this from Amazon how cute is this with the buttons I'm trying to branch out of always wearing the same color so this is sort of a muted brown you've seen these cargo pants before it's starting to get a little big on me these are from Banana Republic and then my trusty cut out ink boots all right let's get into some clothes Okay, so I asked them what they were known for and their pure Jill line was one of their most popular pieces. So I grabbed this and this is kind of nice because I know who I am. I don't feel as weird standing in the open area and I love that I have this mirror so you can see how it fits. So I'm wearing this in a small and while it might not look like a whole lot, it's a basic um, navy top with a nice seam down the middle, full length sleeves that I pulled up a little bit the material feels amazing okay this one is from their wherever line which is kind of like their travel line and this particular shirt comes in two colors i'm wearing it in the small which is obviously too big for me but i wanted you to see this color which i think is beautiful it has hard to tell but it has a collar nice v-neck definitely too big on me i would say the sizing generally runs generously here but I also grabbed it in the navy extra small. So let's check that out and see the difference in how it fits. Okay, popped on the navy in the extra small. This is definitely fitting better. Limited experience says size down in the JGL tops. Same nice little collar. I like the way the v-neck lies and it's still long enough in the front that I can tuck it in. Front tuck, half tuck, what have you. So this is going on the short list for things that are going home with me. When I say going home, I mean buying, not walking out the door with them. Okay. This caught my eye because I am a sucker for stripes and it's not the usual white and black or white and navy. And I do like this button detail that's sort of asymmetrical, but they didn't have the extra small. This is definitely a little too big on me. And because of those buttons on the side, it doesn't really tuck in well, kind of has a weird gap. So on its own, I don't love, but I'll show you why it caught my eye. Let me grab the piece they styled it with. Okay, this is what they had styled in the front of the store. Not the pants, obviously. These are from my house. But how cute is this? It's sort of like a, almost like a cotton twill. It feels almost like denim. Maybe it is, but obviously it's not the traditional denim color. It's a creamy ivory shade with these really fun oversized buttons. It does have pockets on the sides. And this higher collar is really cute and you can flip it down if you want. I love this as an alternative to a more traditional denim jacket because you can style it with pants and because it's cream colored it'll go really nicely with normal blue denim and not look like a weird denim tuxedo. So this is a super cute jacket for spring and I should mention that the cuffs button so you can roll them up and do a whole other more casual look with this as well. I could also see this styled over more traditional black work pants with a blouse for more of a casual business look. It's a really versatile piece. I resisted trying this on because I thought to myself, you do not need another sweater, Marnie. It is almost spring in San Antonio, but I don't know, it just called to me. Let me back up a little bit. I love this. It feels so soft and so cozy, but it looks really nice. It's not just, I don't know how to describe this. I feel a little more dressed up in this. The lighting is not great. Let me pull back. So you can see where it comes in the back. Bum is covered. I could see this. I could actually just walk out of the store in this and I would be thrilled. Um, I could wear this over skinny jeans. It would be great over leggings. I could dress this up. I feel like this has a lot of possibility. I am wearing it in a small. So apparently not everything runs oversized. I think an extra small would maybe be a little too, I don't know. 
I'm gonna wear it oversized. I think I could probably pull off the extra small too. There is enough room here, but wow, this is, this is the standout piece so far. I'm in love. Now, I know this doesn't fit me. The smallest size they had in the store was this medium, but it's such a unique piece that you needed to see it. So if you are looking for athleisure wear, lounge wear, but you want something a little bit different, you need to check this out. I would say not just your true size, get a size down. So I think an extra small would work better on me, but I love this detail with the, you can, you know, make this tighter or looser, depending on how much you want to cinch these things in the front. The length is perfect to go over leggings, workout pants, what have you. And the fabric, it's so similar to that Spanx Luxe fabric. So buttery soft and smooth. This is the most unique thing I've seen and I'm going to get on the website and probably go order it in my size. And I think it might come in other colors as well. Really cool though, I think, in this sort of off-white, white shade. There was one dress right when I walked in, I said, I need this dress. I'm a sucker for a tinsel fabric denim looking dress. If you live in San Antonio or Houston, you know it's rodeo season this month. Oh my gosh, okay. Pasty white legs aside, imagine this styled with my knee high um, cowboy boots. It has pockets. You can either wear it full length or it even has a tab to you know roll it up all the way. I love the v-neck i don't have to deal with a collar just a nice banded collar with a little bit of fringe obviously you want to wear it belted pockets you could even unbutton the whole thing wear it more like a topper there's just a ton of options here i love this did i say it's an extra small extra small perfect love this okay so far i've got two absolutely i'm buying you and taking you home now let's start trying on some of the bottoms that i picked out all right, let's have some honest talk. <laughs> I really like these. They're kind of like jeans, actually. They feel like a denim, very lightweight, stretchy denim material, but um, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if you say, no, Marnie, you look like a sausage. I do look like a sausage. These are a size four. Generally, my rule of thumb in white or cream pants or jeans is to size up one. So I would grab these in a six if they had them in the store, but they don't, but that being said, these are a regular, not a petite, and I like the length. I think the length is perfect. So I would recommend these just size up one because that's not cute. All right, I think we're done here. Let's go ring up. All right, friends, I am back from our little shopping trip and I have a receipt and some things to share with you. So. I forgot to tell you this at the beginning, but I set a budget for $400. These items are a little higher price point than I usually share. I know I heavily feature Walmart and Amazon and more budget-friendly pieces. I also have a very large group here that prefers Nordstrom and Anthropology and higher price points. So if this video is not for you, if these prices are not for your budget, it's okay. I have other content for you. So here we go. $400 budget. I spent... Total $225.16, $208 for the items, and then city tax, state tax, district tax, blah, blah, blah. Like $15 and change in the taxes. So what did I get for just over $200? Two things, let me share with you. And obviously, I think it was pretty clear in the try-on part what was coming home. The first is this V-neck, boucle, sort of tunic length sweater. I got it in a size small. It is just, it's a classic. It's going to be a staple. And there's something elegant about this sweater. I know it seems like a basic sweater, but it's just so versatile. And I know I can do so much with it. And while my time is limited and how long I can wear it right now, because we are quickly moving into spring where I am, this is a piece that will stay in my closet for years. I know that I will use it over and over and over again. The other piece that I'm really excited about is the tensel dress. So here it is. I'll fold it up and upside down. It's technically called the fringed tensel dress because along the neckline it does have very, very subtle fringing. I got it in the extra small. This is going to be another one. I can see myself wearing this to the rodeo, like I talked about. If you live in San Antonio or Houston, rodeo season is upon us. It's always good to have a rodeo ready outfit. I can see myself wearing this in a very cliche way to a winery tour. We have a ton of amazing wineries, literally hundreds of them, some less than 15 minutes from my house. 
If you ever happen to come to San Antonio, definitely set up a winery tour. Anyway, I could see myself wearing this with some boots, the ultimate cliche influencer hat. I may do a little styling short on that. I can wear this open over a tank top and maybe white jeans, just so, so many options. So while it is a higher price point, it is something I'm gonna get a lot of cost per wear out of. Now, one thing I didn't address, and this isn't a slight on J. Jill because this applies to basically every brick and mortar store I have walked into in the last couple of years. We all know the supply chain is a disaster. So when I first researched J. Jill and wanted to just generally see what they had, there were a ton of things on the website that caught my eye, but when I came to the store, they were not there whether they weren't carried in store or had sold out in my size or whatever. So I did pick seven pieces that had initially caught my eye, put them into a collage, and I will itemize them and link them down below for you. If you wanna go check those out, I may add a couple more pieces to my online cart since I did budget $400. Why not just go for it? But before I place that order, I would love to hear from you. What do you think I should buy from those seven pieces? Or is there something on the website I missed that you think is a must have? Please let me know in the comments. I would love it if you would do the shopping for me. Well, that's it for my dressing room try on this month. Please, please let me know in the comments, aside from what you think I should buy, where I should go next. I've got a couple of ideas. One store I've never done a true dressing room try on at is Nordstrom. Yes, obviously I do it for the anniversary sale, but as much as I shop there, which is every month, you would think I would have done one of those by now, and I haven't, so I think that's gonna be next up, but I would love to hear from you. Give me some more ideas. I can't wait. Wish I could take you with me, but this is the best we can do. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.